This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to look at counting problems. Specifically, we're going to look at the number of possible paths on a grid or a map. We're going to have two sections within this video, and I will embed all the possible background information that you need to know in the first problem. Uh, however, it should be known that before watching this video, it'll make a lot more sense if you watch our scrambled letters problem video. Okay, so when you learn how to count the number of scrambled letters to make distinguishably different words, uh, this video will make a lot more sense. Okay, let's get started. So this is going to be our first grid problem. And uh, let it be said that within the framework of Math Guide videos, uh, this is not our first counting problem, so it will be assumed that you've seen some counting problems up until this point. Uh, and it is strongly suggested that you see the scrambled letters problem video, uh, or at least check out the Math Guide website and check out the lesson that's there that explains it. It'll make a lot more sense when you see this problem. Okay, nevertheless, so uh, when, when we see a grid like this, we're going to imagine all the lines that are going up and down as north-south streets. And the lines that are going uh, left and right are going to be east-west streets. Okay, so in other words, picture this as a map, you know, or we call them just a grid. Now, uh, let's say our starting point on our grid is the green point, And then the point in which we want to... Uh, B for our destination is going to be the red point. So in other words, we're traveling within this map and we are, of course, limited to just walking or I should say just traveling along these streets. Okay, so we can't take any shortcuts through backyards or even hopping over fences. We're just walking or driving or somehow traveling along these streets. Okay, well, in order to arrive at the total number of possible paths there are from the green point to the red point, we have to count some things on this graph. Like, for instance, if you're at this green point, you have a choice. You could go north or you could go west as your first starting point, or, or I should say at least your first starting direction. So if I were to like choose some path on this grid, um, and I'm going to use this baby blue color, um, let's say that um, this particular person who's traveling to meet a friend at point that's red, let's say this person takes this path, okay, which I'm just going to mark. And you can see that I'm just marking it with this blue color. Okay, so let's say that this is the path that this person takes. Okay, well, if you really look at this grid, you could see that there were some choices going on. So when the person first started to walk, the person walked north. And at this next juncture, they could have gone north, but instead they went west. Okay, so there's north, west, and then at the next juncture, the person went north, then north again. And then from this point, they went west and west. So this is the possible, or this is one possible path that a person can take, and all we need is to have done this. You just mark out one possible path and I can show, of course, how to now use this to arrive at the, all the total possible paths. Okay, so what do you do? You first, of course, look at this arrangement of letters and you count how many you have. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six letters here. Now, what we are going to do is imagine that this is now a scrambled letter problem. So what we're gonna do is figure out how many ways can we scramble up these letters? Well, there's six factorial ways. And if none of these directions repeated, that would be the answer. All right, now, of course, we could see that north repeats and west repeats. All right, so how many north repeats are there? There's one, two, three. So I'm going to put 3 factorial in the basement, or the denominator. And let's say you got west, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so what I do now is, of course, plug this into a calculator, 
and it's going to give me the total number of paths. And the calculator says there are 20 possible paths. Okay, so that takes into uh, account all the possible scrambled up versions of this. Now, of course, there is assumption going on here when you do these path problems. The assumption is you're always making progress towards uh, your destination. We're not going to go on infinite loops where we go north, west, south, east, and keep going in a path like that. Otherwise, there'd be an infinite number of possibilities if you keep on going on distracted tours. Okay, so to count the total number of paths when you're always making progress is the strategy. All right, let's try one more problem. All right, here's our second grid problem. All right, now you can see there's a noticeably larger grid that we're facing here for this problem. But again, we're, uh, we have a person here that's represented by the green dot, and they're trying to make progress towards eventually landing up at a destination, which is the red dot. And we want to figure out how many possible paths are there if we're confined to streets on this map or grid. Okay, again, we're always trying to make progress. We're not going to go backwards. We're always going to be making progress from green to red. All right, so the first thing you do is you choose a path. And again, it doesn't matter what path. You do just choose a path. Uh, okay, let's say now for this particular time, uh, I'm going to go on this path. I, and it really, it doesn't matter. I'm just letting uh, my pen move me and I'm just choosing a path. I'm just trying to be scribble here so you could see the path. Okay, and I'm just going to choose any old direction as long as I'm on this graph, or I should say this grid, it doesn't matter what path I take. Okay, so now we have a path. Now what we're going to do is figure out what was this actual path. Okay, so from starting from the green, it looks like we went west, west, north, north, west west north north uh, let's see there's a west northwest Oop, that last one was a west okay so let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yep got them all Okay, so first thing we do is we realize, hey, there's 11 directions. Okay, so we're looking at 11 directions. So how many different ways are there to scramble up these 11 directions? Well, if they weren't a repeat, there'd be 11 factorial. But since we know there's repeats, and what's repeating? We got norths and wests. Are repeating how many norths well let's see I've got one two three four five norths how many wests one two three four five six and plop into the calculator okay so there's 462 paths So that's all there is, and if you uh, would like to get more free math education, just go back to mathguide.com, check out our other instructional videos, interactive quizzes, and text-based lessons. Take care.